Hello YouTube. Final thoughts on the Piscan National Forest. I made it back down into Waynesville. It's a super Walmart back here behind the garden center. So uh, more to come on the other side. Hey there, I, I want to let y'all know when you go into a uh, national forest, check out, find out where the nearest ranger station is. Stop in there, uh, give them a little talk, you know. Uh, you can find out a lot more information about the camping situation, points of interest, like I did when I got this guide. But anyways, um, just south of the Pisca National Forest Ranger Station and Visitor Area is a paid campground, Davison River Campground. There's 161 camping spots in that campground. Um, they operate from March 29th to November 4th. Um, by reservations, you um, can call the uh, National Recreation Reservation Service uh, or go to uh, recreation.gov. You get on there, uh, pick your date to see if it check availability. If your date's not avail available, look for the W on the dates. That's walk up. Um, and those are first come, first serve. They gotta be there on that day when it becomes available. And uh, hopefully you get a spot. But here's some uh, photos of the camp, uh, Davidson River Campground. Okay, after I left there, I drove out to the uh, birthplace of the National Forest, Forestry Service. Of course, they was closed. Um, I did manage to go in, in uh, the parking lot a little bit. Um, there's a nice area. Uh, it's an interactive area. During the month of July, on the weekends, they have uh, songs in there, singers in there, folk music. Uh, there's videos and there's four miles of hiking trails around there showing you some of the old logging schools, the old logging equipment. And then just past it was Pink Bed Picnic area. I'll show you a couple of photos right there right quick. That's all pretty much on US 276. Over on 215, it's just roadside camping. Now there are five waterfalls in that area of the Piscan National Forest. So that guide tells you about the access to each of them, um, how hard they are to get to, and um, you know about the how long it would take you to get down to them and back to your parking area. The easiest one I found, the only one I could really get to, was Looking Glass Falls. I showed you all that a couple days ago in a video. Here's a quick shot of it again right quick. Oh, wrapping it up here. 
I'm getting ready to go back up to the parkway uh, for a couple of days. Uh, what I do up there is I find my spot, I get out, get my photos uh, during the day. I do some investigating, you know, around the area and go back to my one spot for overnight sleeping. I get in there at dark, I leave before daylight. So um, overall, Pisca National Forest Recreation Area, I'll give you a thumbs up. I really did enjoy it. Really nice folks at the campground, Davidson River Campground, uh, camp host in there. Uh, the people at the, uh, uh, I guess you would call the entrance, uh, very helpful. Let me come right in there, get my pictures, and come right back out. They do have showers there, $5, uh, and it's uh, $22 a night for camping. Half off if you got your uh, Access America the Beautiful Pass. So that's it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, uh, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Appreciate each and every one of you who have already, and welcome to the new ones. Thank you. I'll be heading back out, like I said, towards the Blue Ridge Parkway and uh, spending probably a weekend there before I start heading the next direction I choose. Have a good day.